Okay, so the next on my list is an SL 363M, M for memory foam, I think. So this is what it will look like when it comes to you in the box. Not too heavy, not too bad. So already um, kind of better than that one <laughs> so far. Because that one seemed pretty heavy for me. So I'll just pop this sucker open if I can get it open. Probably should have got some kind of tape cutter. one will probably be longer because I haven't even opened the package yet. So, here we go. Got it open. Okay, so first thing I notice is that the cushion is, oh, it's one of those matte things that I thought about getting. <laughs> comes in plastic, although that was a fail on their part to put it like that because uh, I pulled it and the plastic came out but the cushion did not. <laughs> so that did work. And the uh, memory manual is in there on top. So here's the manual. And it also comes with a little special offer warranty thing here like that and it says um, very grateful for your patronage if you like our products here are simple ways to share tell your family friends share experience at Amazon connect with us on Facebook uh, follow us on Facebook and cla claim exclusive offers and promotions my guess is it's probably something that has to do with warranty or free gift oh. um, and then they have their little thing on the back cute little logo in gold. I like that. Uh, but that's what I uh, see immediately when I open the box. And, ooh, that is very soft. That is really nice. Okay, so immediately I'm noticing that the mat is very soft, very silky, uh, smooth. It looks like it comes with like a little little handle to make it easier to carry, I guess, but not really when it does this. So I can see where they were trying to go with it, and that's a cool idea that it did not execute correctly. <laughs> so I'll just move that. And again, first thought, very soft. This is very soft and very smooth. And from what I can tell, I should fit on this, no problem. <laughs> this is like a full size. You probably are supposed to put this on a bed, but since I don't have a bed and I wasn't expecting a mat to be in this package, I am going to uh, lay this out on the ground and move the camera so that you can see it. So move the chair. All right, so I'm going to try lean this way down here. There you can see me. Yeah, somewhat. All right, I'm going to try to like get the whole thing in view. Probably should have done this first, but yeah, what can you do? Um, okay, so I'm going to lean this all this stuff out of the way here so we don't break anything. Okay. I'm going to have this on an angle so that you can see the whole mat. Top to bottom. Hopefully. Okay, so I'm going to turn this around because the pillow part is there part is there and the floor part is over here. I'm going to take off my 
shoes. Off my shoes because I don't want to get this thing dirty. Oh, immediately I can tell that there are hard little nobules in here. Oh, yeah, those are hard. I think I know what people are talking about when they have their complaints. Okay, so I got my phone that just fell. Okay, um, so first reaction to this is it's there are a lot of hard little nobules in here. Let me see how many I can feel. None in the pillow. Thank goodness they thought that through. Um, two here. Two here. Two here. Two here. Two here. And another two here. So, two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. And they're spaced up pretty decently. So, I'm going to use the cord, which is comes in this adorable little box right here. So, this is the box. And this is what it looks like. It's just a little, little port, again, that goes right into here, like that. And then this will plug into the wall, hopefully. I have some room over here. Oh, yep, that worked just fine. Good. Okay, so, oh, immediately, <laughs> not very comfortable laying on the nobules, I gotta say. But lucky for me, I am really little and it kind of fits ugh, in the middle or on the sides more than actually in my body. Although I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be, so we'll see. Um, again, it comes with a remote. And the settings on here are heat, upper back, lower back, leg, and feet. And I'm assuming the upper back, lower back, leg, and feet are probably uh, where you want the vibrations to go. Here's an intensity mode, or no, this is mode. This is intensity. This is on and off. And this is heat for the back, specifically. This is heat for the neck. So I'm going to turn it on. Whoa, all kinds of settings going on off <laughs> already. I don't know if you can see that, but there are lights and blinkies to let me know where the vibrations are. So because I'm so small, this is probably not hitting like it's supposed to. And I'm feeling the vibrations here on the sides of my hip, but not really quite hitting my hip at all. Right under my armpit, I think right on the outside of my legs. So, as far as I could tell, unfortunately this mat would be completely ineffective for me. Oh, I had to crack my back. Yeah. And it's on a weird little cycle right now where it's going It's like music. <laughs> Weird. Okay, so it's going off all over. Now if I wanted to put the different modes, I click the button mode. Let's see, that was M1, mode one. Mode two is just lower back buzzing, just a constant buzz. Oh, now it moved to the where the feet are, but I gotta say that's not my feet. That's right here. That's not my feet. That's actually my legs. <laughs> uh, right underneath my shoulders. Oh, just jumped right into my thighs right here. Just right here. Moved back to my calves, I guess. Not even my feet. 
right here under my armpit. I could see that if they actually landed on my body, they might help a bit. Okay, that's like right outside my hip zone. Okay, so it just cycles like that. That was mode two. So let's try mode three. <laughs> this is trippy. Okay, this is a weird one. I don't know if you can hear. This is certainly not quiet, not something like you could ignore. I mean, if you turn your TV up, it probably wouldn't be an issue. It's kind of funny because it's like that's such a stranger. The wow, 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 it does. It's like that. It speeds up. It's the best way I could describe it. Okay, so the next mode is mode four. Oh, and by the way, that's just like everywhere. It's pulsating back and forth, like ping-ponging uh, everywhere. So mode four. Going. And it's blinking in such a way that my shoulders, or under my armpits is probably where the shoulders are supposed to be, and the legs, or the feet, feet, shoulders are supposed to go up, then it pulses, middle back, thigh, or calves, thighs, maybe, and toes, or feet, but again, it doesn't reach my feet. So that one's an interesting one. All right, so we'll try M5. Holy weirdness. It was like, the best way I could describe that one sounds like, like guns going off by my head right now. But really quiet guns, obviously. But it just goes pop, 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 and then it pulls, it, it, quickens its speed and intensity to a constant. But you can still feel it pulsing until the very last second and then it's just solid. But it's all over the body. All of it. So mode five is like pop 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 and it goes so fast that eventually it's it's like it's not even pulsing anymore. It's just constant. And it's for a split second. So it's not very long. So M5 is interesting. Let's see, oops. And then, yeah, the M's. Okay, M2 is the one with a constant buzz and it's in one area at a time. So for me, I would prefer probably constant least until like the kink is out of my back or whatever. So let's just say all at once, if I just wanted the whole thing just vibrating and relaxed. Let's see if I can maybe try and place my body on these little dealy bobs. Okay, so now I think I'm where I'm supposed to be, kinda. Oof. Oh god, my back hurts. <laughs> Not really comfortable laying on the floor, I gotta tell you, even with the mat. Okay, so I can feel where the feet are supposed to be. It's actually just below my knee. So if the feet are supposed to be there, maybe I should move up. But then I feel like the place where it's supposed to be the shoulders and the upper back would be gone. And from what I can tell right here, this is the pillow, but let's try it. 
Let's give it a let, let's give it a, a fair shot, right? So this is how I guess it's supposed to be. It's still not even hitting my feet. Nope. It's hitting right here on my legs. My feet are nowhere near that. Maybe it would hit your feet if you're like a kid and really, really small. Because I'm even, I'm 5'2 and this is still too big. Or, or too, it's too high up. It doesn't make sense for an adult human body. This is very, very small. Yet, strangely enough, it's all spaced out in a way that, for lack of a better term, pardon my not politically correctness here, but for a fat person, you'd have to be fat or have a lot of fat or large bones or something. You'd have to be really wide in order for this to do anything. So it's kind of disappointing because this is the one I thought I'd like the most, <laughs> but it's, it's not even, it doesn't even fit my tiny, tiny little body. So those are the modes. And then they also have a heating feature. Let's try the heating in the neck area to see if I can actually feel the heating. And I'll also add heat to the body in a minute. So once I actually feel any heat starting, I'll give it a second because usually I think you have to give these things five to 10 minutes to heat up. Don't quote me on that, I don't know, but I'm guessing. Any heating pad I used to have when I was little used to need a while to heat up, so. I don't feel any heat yet. Nope. No heat yet. Oh, there's also an intensity obviously, so default seems to be on medium. This is low. Low is meh. Medium is the, the default, which honestly feels pretty high to me. And then uh, high is this. Whoa, that's high. Yeah, it vibrates everything. Uh, <laughs> I can even hear my voice a little bit it's getting buzzy. Like if I actually sit on one of these, I'll probably buzz a lot. Uh, nope. Yeah, if you sit directly on them, it seems to almost not do anything. But if you sit in the middle of them and kind of just maybe cup your arm into it to force it to vibrate back into your body, it kind of works. Kind of. Um, so I notice you can't lay directly on them because it almost cancels it out. It seems like there's too much, um, too much weight maybe on it. No bones directly on it. It's probably a bad thing, but ow, my back. I just got a pain, pain in my neck, but that could be unrelated. Um, I think I'm starting to feel heat it's starting to, to heat somewhere I'm feeling it okay okay yeah it's actually in the pillow so there's a heat coil I can actually feel it if I push right here on the heat so technically it's funny but uh The heat in the neck would actually heat my head, not my neck. I would have to pull myself up. Let's see, these are where the little nubules are at the end. That's my feet. So I pull myself all the way up, which doesn't make sense because then I'm like putting my body halfway on the pillow. Then it would heat my neck. Otherwise, this is where it feels like it would be natural on me and it doesn't reach my feet or my neck warm the body early. And this is on high. Okay, so if I add heat mode to the whole body, let's see how long that takes. Okay, 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is turn off the vibration feature just so I don't cheat, so to speak. Because obviously from vibrations it feels like it's getting hotter. But if I don't have any vibrations on and I'm just having the heating, let's see how it works. The head is getting warm. Definitely my head is getting toasty. But I still don't feel it in the body yet. But again, I would give it five minutes before I even give a real rating for it. So I'll just lay here for about five minutes and see how long it takes to start getting toasty. If you can feel a little bit. And my office is pretty toasty. It's been, you know, luckily not very large. So I don't need a lot to warm me up. <laughs> being in this office. I love my office for that reason. It's very cold in the morning and I come in here and I turn on my little heater in the corner over there and that just warms me right up. I might actually do a review on that too because that's a product I use I should probably give a review for. In fact, I think I'll do that next. <laughs> This one, yep, I'm just starting to feel little tiny bits of warmth near my ankles and under my knees. Let's see if I can feel it if I put my feet in the middle. No. I'm not really feeling much anything yet. still don't feel anything in the body but the head is definitely nice and warm so for the neck feature it's nice although for someone freezing they might need more than that so maybe my only suggestion to that would be if you have a high low and medium for a vibration you should have a high low and medium in heat um because maybe even this might be too much for somebody. This might be too hot. I'm starting to get already too hot slightly. And I'm sure if I lay here for longer, it'll get hotter. Um, but yeah, if someone, if it's too hot for them, they're not going to like this. If it's not hot enough, enough, if it's not hot enough, they're not going to like this. So I figured maybe it would be smarter to have different levels. So for those who really need warmth, like me, in the wintertime, you crank it to high and super toast yourself. Or if you only need a little bit of heating because it's a little chilly in your apartment or house or whatever and you just need a little warmth, you can turn it on low. Or if you need somewhere in between that, you can do that. That would be my only suggestion. Well, not my only suggestion. My other suggestion would be to maybe adjust a way to where these little knobs can adjust. They can move and shift to where someone's body is, the way the balls do on the massagers. If you could adjust where these little, these little squishy balls, where'd they go? Yeah, right here. So if you could adjust where these massage um, vibrating motors are instead of having them fixated or offer more of those vibrating massage things throughout and you could trigger them based on where your body lies I think that would be smarter because instead of this being right now which currently to me is only marketed to people who are on the larger side <laughs> um, as far as being able to reach wide wise because again I'm very narrow I'm very little very skinny so it might work for a larger person um, but not a tall person because again I'm short and this doesn't reach my feet like it's supposed to it reaches my calves 
right under my knees. Um, and it doesn't reach my neck, it's reaching my head. It's toasting my head, not my neck. So I would suggest, yeah, maybe spacing out these little knobs throughout instead of only having 10, maybe have 20. Like, so you have the two on the sides here and for the larger people, and then you have two in the middle, like where my stomach would be, but my, it would be my spine um, in the back and the muscles. Obviously not along the spine because that's not good. Again, you don't want to put too much weight on them because it seems to kind of cancel out the vibration if it's too heavy. Um, plus, you don't want it on your bones. That won't be very comfortable. But if you could have them on the side, like around the, the small of the back where the muscles are, where a lot of people have a lot of sore muscleage, um, that would be that would be a good bet. And also, um, again, because it doesn't reach my feet, maybe offer more of them down at the bottom so that for tall people all the way at the bottom there's a vibrator nobule whatever right here and right here um that you could use if you're really tall or if you're really small you know yeah this will work because this is where the foot is this is where the, the last one sits but it doesn't make a lot of sense to do that for the average american because even i'm smaller than the average american so you need to have feet more like almost like maybe an inch, half inch away from the bottom. And the top, as you can see, this is where my head is. My head stops here. I'm five foot two. I'm shorter than the average American. And if this is where your neck is supposed to be, I gotta say this is this is too short. So my that would be my criticism is that it needs to be longer. You need to offer more um, nobules in different areas or allow them to be shifted in the way that when you push the arrows on the other um, on the other models for the, the vibrating chairs, uh, chair cushions, you push the buttons for the arrows and it moves the rotating balls up or down. Uh, I don't have any that move in or out yet. That would be another thing I would suggest because again, if someone's wider, they're going to need different than someone who's tiny. So maybe allow the adjust the um, spacing and adjust where they go lengthwise. Um, that would make it customized to the person's body. And that would make it more marketable because instead of this being so narrow, to only one target audience, you could target it to anyone, anybody, and that would be the the best thing I could suggest. Um, okay, this it has been I don't know probably five ten minutes now, and I still don't really feel much heat down here in the body. It's very toasty at the head, but as you can see, I've got the heat going, and I don't I don't feel really much of anything. So, I'm gonna sit up. Oh. I'm gonna sit up and roll my hands around. Okay, I can feel it slightly warm here. And slightly warm here. So it seems to be the middle. Slightly warm in the middle here. Yeah, okay, so also another suggestion I would make, yeah, it's very warm in the middle here, or it's getting warm. I should say it's pretty warm to me to the, when I push on my, with my hands, but when I was laying with my body, I couldn't tell. It didn't feel that much of a difference. And from what I can tell, it's only in the middle, like the center, the someone's spine. I would suggest that the heat radiate out the whole area so that, you know, the whole body could be warm, no matter how you're laying on it. The only way I'm going to feel the heat is if I'm laying on it directly in the middle. 
And I don't really feel it through my clothes. That's why I only feel it when I put my hand on it. Now I feel it on my hip now. Now that I'm actually like leaning down. I do feel the heat. So it takes a while to heat up. Um, but it does get, does get warm. I wouldn't say enough for it to be like a warming mat or like a warming blanket would do. I would still suggest a warming blanket, but if you're on the larger side, wide wise, maybe wide but short, <laughs> this will work perfect for you. Um, otherwise, to me, this doesn't really, this doesn't work for me, unfortunately. Again, another disappointment, unfortunately. That sucks, because I was really hoping that this would be a good one. Because it was, I was just going to be like, hey boss, give me one. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, no. that's unfortunately a no for me. I'm going to oh, turn it off first. And then I'm also going to unplug it. And I noticed that the charger itself is pretty toasty. It's not something I would, I would prefer to, you know, to deal with. I don't like things that get hot. They make me nervous. Fire hazards and all that. It's not really hot. It's just very warm. So there's that. So we'll just, I will repackage this back up and uh, I'll do it in a minute. Mainly I just want to show you the remote up close again so you can see the features. Sucker's heavy. Okay, so as you can see, there's heat, upper back, lower back, legs and feet, heat, mode, intensity, and the on and off button. So when you first turn it on, you're on and off, it's going to be whatever the default is when you buy it, or, you know, when you set it last, I guess it would be on whatever you set it last. Um, but this was on just some random thing. So when you hit the heat button up here, it'll only heat the head, like I said. And when you heat heat here, it'll heat only just the literal center of this, from what I can tell. Um, I could have left this on for like a half an hour or more to try to like test it out more and I guess I should have but I didn't think of that um, but from what I could tell it doesn't especially because if I push with my fingers and I feel around I only really feel the coils in the middle I don't feel them really out here I don't feel anything out here other than this cord I can feel starts in here but yeah no just squishies just squishies on the ends and is by itself I'd say uh, without the vibration and um, without the heat the uh, the cushion is super comfy I like it it is soft and squishy so that's always a positive but again um, due to the fact that it doesn't really fit my body and I'm tiny and due to the fact that the heating is only in the very, very center um, that for me is uh, kind of pointless because it doesn't fit my body and it doesn't really warm me up. So, and I don't know the cost, the going rate for this thing, but um, I imagine it's probably like a hundred bucks or more. And that's just, it's, uh, that's a lot of money. You know, I work hard and for that so I would have to say this is a no for me um, but don't go by just my review you should probably check out the other reviews on Amazon and, and read the comments and see if it's something that you want to try they have a really great uh, warranty and return policy. So um, if you don't like it and it doesn't work for you, 
Um, you're not stuck with it. It's not like other companies where you buy something and, um, oh well, you're out, you know, 50 bucks or 100 bucks or 300 bucks or whatever. They actually are really nice, really good people, and they want their customers happy. So, if you find if you try it out and find that it doesn't work for you or it hurts you, it doesn't work for your body, whatever, just you know. As long as it's in good condition, you can always send it back. Now, if you receive one and it just doesn't work at all, well, from what I could tell, they don't even want those back because it's pointless if it's broken. It's broken. <sighs> they at least don't make you, you know, pay shipping and all that stuff. But this is a nice little, nice little mat. It might work for some people, um, but unfortunately, it did not work for me. And I didn't notice any pain or sensitivity, but that's not to say you won't experience it. Because um, I was reading online that uh, a lot of people mentioned um, that the nobules that vibrate when you lay on them uh, directly, because again, it didn't reach my body. Maybe I, I'm not affected that way. But when they uh, when they tried it, it um, it hurt. It caused them pain. So my best suggestion for those situations where you're like, oh, you like it, but it causes you a little pain, you probably should just put a nice, thick cushion, uh, pillow, blanket, towel even, in between you and the knobs. And that should work. Um, because I evaluated it, again, it could be because it doesn't reach my body, but I didn't experience any pain or discomfort. Um, this thing is super comfortable um, and soft and smooth, which I like. And it's super easy. If you don't like it, hold it back up, put all the stuff back with it, and tuck it away, and pack it up and give it to someone who might want it. That's how I figured. If I did, if I did buy it and I didn't like it, I would just give it away to someone who I knew might might actually use it. But yep, yeah, that was a whoops. <laughs> don't forget the power cord. And there we go. So the power cord and the warranty and all that good stuff. That's all back where it belongs. So, obviously, I have the benefit that a lot of people don't. I work for Snail Axe, so I get to try these products. And uh, I'm tempting to try several of these in a day to be able tell people from my experience which ones I liked, which ones I didn't. But so far, unfortunately, I'm not, I didn't like the first one and I didn't like this one. Because again, my body is different and it doesn't seem to fit for my size. And uh, doesn't seem to, to reach where I need it to reach. So, not a mixed bag. You won't know, we'll always get good stuff, but hopefully I'll find one I like <laughs> eventually. All right, so that's it for the, um, what is that called? The SL363M, and I uh, hope that helped you uh, make your decision on whether you wanted it, and if it helps, uh, leave me a comment. All right. Thanks. Have a great day.